Hey friend, if you've been looking to play some Stevie Ray Vaughan acoustic blues, then this video is for you because today I'm gonna break down a very rare video of Stevie Ray Vaughan playing acoustic guitar. Now I'm not talking about the MTV Unplugged, recordings which are amazing where he's on 12 string, but this is a different video that surfaced a little while back and it's just him playing an old, looks like a Gibson guitar. Check it out, here's a bit of what we're gonna learn. <laughs> All right, so let's break it down. Stevie Ray Vaughan is, one, he's tuned down a half step, so we're gonna be tuned down a half step for this lesson. And he starts out on the, what I call the Freddie King chord from Hideaway. This is 12, 11, 9, 12 on the top four strings. He goes. Plays sort of staccato where he's like hitting the chord and then releasing the pressure. One and two and three and four. Then he goes to an E diminished seven. This is a very old school blues sound. It's a beautiful sound. 11, 12, 11, 12 on those same strings. Then back up to E9. Okay, so two and three and one and two and three and four and one. Now he actually plays a three, four bar in there at the top. So he goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one. And he slides in goes down to the A chord. So this is a blues lick. Lots of people play this. Stevie used it all the time. 12 on the second string, 10 on the first string. Now that lick starts on beat two. So one and two and three and four. And on four, it's kind of like a, a throwaway slide down to the A chord. Now that's the first four bars or the intro. And then we go into basically the 12 bar blues form. Now I'm gonna break down the rest of this solo for you note for note, but if you're interested in playing blues guitar like this, what I wanna share with you next is really gonna help you out. In fact, I think it's gonna help you unlock this style easier and faster than you ever thought possible. And what it is, is my blue scale PDF guide that I wanna to give to you completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales, and you can download this right away. It's gonna show you the exact scales that Stevie Ray Vaughan is using to be able to improvise like this. And it's even in the same key, it's in the key of E. Of course, you can move it to different keys, but this is gonna come in really handy because this blues that we're learning is in the key of E. Now, one of the things that Stevie does with this is he actually starts out the blues. <laughs> on the A chord. So this is called starting on the four chord and it's a more advanced blues trick, but here he's playing, he goes down to the A chord, right? So, and he plays that, then he plays three, four on the fifth string. So, okay, and that's holding down that A there. Very common blues figure. Then he does this thing called hybrid picking, where he would play the pick on the fifth string here, and then he'll use his middle finger to grab, say, the first string here and get them together. So. And then he plucks just the first string and slides up to five. And then three, five on the second string. and then four on the third string. And then he does this lick. And he plays this lick a ton of times in this little jam. It's like one of his go-tos. So you slide up to four on the third string. Then you put your index finger down on the third fret of the second string. And you do like a backwards rake. Just kind of combing through the strings. They're all up strokes. And then quickly go down to two, zero. So. 
then second fret on the fourth string. And to me, again, it's Hideaway. That lick right there. So a lot of, you know, Freddie King influence, it sounds like, in here. Okay, then he goes, so that's all over the A chord. Then. Then you do this lick, that's open third string, hammer to the first fret, open first string, and then. Okay, that's three on the second string with a little push. Open first string, three on the second string. Then that same lick again. Remember I said it comes back quite a bit, right? So, so right there within basically a bar, he's played the same lick twice. But it doesn't, it doesn't sound like, oh, there's that same old lick again. It's such a good lick. I, I'm, not, I'm just not sick of it, so. And then we're gonna use some more hybrid picking here. We're gonna play the low E and then the first string. And a lot of times, instead of having to travel his pick like this, he'll just use the middle finger, right? It's a lot more convenient to do that. So that's low E, first string, sixth string, third fret with a little pull, open, and then second fret on the fourth string, hammer to one on the third string, open first string, so. Then. Okay, now we're going to a B7 chord, the five chord. So let me just back up. Here's the first four bars that we have so far. Okay. Then we go to the B7 chord here, we're going to walk into that. That's the third fret of the low E, open first, uh, or open fifth string, and then first fret, second fret. Okay, then again, hybrid picking. He, a lot of times when he goes to that B7, he'll pluck that high note with the middle finger, so. Okay, then he alternates the bass. Second fret on the low E string, right? Then here's a great lick. <laughs> I love that, it's so good. So it's really going to the A. Okay, that's sliding into the sixth fret on the third string. Five, five, five on the second string, five on the first string. Bend eight on the second string, five. And then Stevie would do this all the time. He'd, he'd have like, I love that sound. This little, it's like the worst note you could possibly play theoretically against the A chord, you know, is the, is the A sharp or B flat, right? But S S Stevie sneaks it in. And really it's E blues scale, right? Just over the A chord. Okay, now here, whenever you hear like notes on the recording kind of pop out, he's picking those notes with his middle finger, right? Right, it's kind of a chicken picking sound. So here you do the hammer pull from five to six, and then back to five, and then five on the second string, five on the first string, and eight on the second string, Five on the first string, string. So it's just like back and forth, like. And then here he goes eight, five, zero on the second string. So it's all one measure. Okay, and that open string helps him get down to the next part where he's gonna connect down into a lower position like this. So this is ringing out, eight, five, zero, and then plucks the first string open, three pull off to zero on the second string. And then guess what? <laughs> that same lick again, right? So even just that little part, right? 
Like it's, it's just so good. The blues vocabulary is so good. Friend, these are the things that you need to learn if you wanna sound this way. There is really no other way. You're not just gonna come up with phrases like this. I mean, I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm not just gonna sit down and you know come up with this on my own, okay? So you've gotta go in and you've gotta learn these phrases exactly like how I'm showing you, like this. And that's what's gonna make you sound like you're playing the blues. So, open, first string, pull off, third fret open on the second string, then slide up with that same Freddie King hideaway lick. Now watch this here. Okay, these are like bass note walk-ups here, so that's going up to like a B7. A lot of times Steve Ray Vaughan would end his blueses like this. Open low E, third fret, open A string, one, two. And then, remember that this blues actually starts on the four chord. So he goes, and then, see how that last little bass line leads us into the A7. All right, so I'm going to put it all together now, starting off with that blues intro. Remember, we've got that you know, slightly uh, tricky rhythm at the top where we go four, four, three, four, 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 and then we're into the blues jam. Here it is all together. Oh, one, two, three, four. So that's a deep dive there of some Stevie Ray Vaughan acoustic blues. Hope you got some value out of this video. And remember to really put this together and dial in exactly what I'm talking about, the scales and the patterns and how it all connects together. Grab my free blues scale PDF guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales and you can download it right there as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Stevie Ray Vaughan style blues guitar, check out this video next.